In this video, we will look at detecting the double top and bottom chart patterns using Python. Here is a sample of the results we found. We will explain the code we used to produce these results later on in the video. Now for some brief discussion about double top and bottom chart patterns. A double top chart pattern occurs when two consecutive rounding tops appear. Double top signal a bearish reversal pattern. The first rounding top appears after a strong uptrend then the price retraces to the neckline. The second rounding top appears when the price increases again from the neckline. The second top is lower than the first top indicating that the buying pressure is not strong enough and is about to end. The price will then start a downtrend and break out of the support level. Double bottom occurs when two consecutive rounding bottoms appear. Double bottom signal a bullish reversal pattern. The first rounding bottom is formed after a strong downtrend and then the price retraces to the neckline. The second rounding bottom appears when the price falls again from the neckline. The second bottom is lower than the first bottom which indicates that the selling pressure is not strong enough and is about to end. The price will then start an uptrend and break out of the resistance level. It's time to look at the code. First, please note that all resources that were useful in creating this code are in the description below. And second, the link to the code is also available in the description below. We first import the MPL Finance Library to plot our candlestick graphs. From the SIPI library, we import this function, which will be used to find the maximas and minimas. We import matplotlib to save the graphs, while the pandas library is for data manipulation. The maximas and minimas are found by using the find local maximas minimas function. It takes the OHLC data frame, a window range, which is the range around which the minima and maxima values will be found. The smooth parameter is for controlling whether the OHLC data should be smoothed over a certain smoothing period. We use this function from SIPI to find the minimas and maximas. Once we have them we find the lowest minima and highest maxima around a certain window range. The rest of the function is pulling together the results into one data frame. To find the doubles patterns we have the aptly defined find doubles patterns function. It takes the max minute data frame as input. We loop over all the data in our max minute data frame. At any given ITH iteration, we select 5 points and these points must meet certain conditions for a double top or double bottom pattern to be identified. For a double bottom, we need A and E to be greater than B, C and D, B, and D to be less than C. While D has to be greater than B. On the other hand, for a double top pattern, A and E must be less than B, C, D, B and D must be greater than C. Meanwhile, B must be greater than D. Here are the conditions for the top and bottom patterns written in the code. Now the code we run to get the results. Once we run it, we get a folder of images like this. Remember the link to the code is available in the description below. We hope you found the video useful. We would like to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.